The FBI has closed its case over Hillary Clinton and her emails. With just two days to go before Election Day, FBI Director James Comey says the Bureau stands by its earlier finding that no criminal charges were warranted against Mrs Clinton for using a private email server during her time as Secretary of State. But as Alex Ashton reports, Donald Trump, who was earlier applauding the FBI now, isn't having any of it. With fewer than 48 hours left until the United States has a new president, Hillary Clinton is in the clear. In a letter to Congress, the FBI director, James Comey, said the agency had completed its review of the new emails and said, quote, We haven't changed our conclusions that we expressed in July with respect to Secretary Clinton. Just over a week ago, a letter sent by Mr Comey to Congress, informing it of the newly discovered emails, threatened to throw Mrs Clinton's presidential race against Donald Trump into turmoil. But today it confirmed Mrs Clinton wouldn't face charges. Speaking at his campaign rally in Minnesota, Donald Trump wasn't happy. No, you have to understand, it's a rigged system and she's protected. She's protected by a rigged system. She shouldn't even be allowed to run for president, I'll tell you right now. She is the most corrupt person ever to seek the presidency of the United States. Hillary Clinton made no public reaction to the FBI's decision. Instead, her aide described it as welcome news. Earlier, she'd spent the day campaigning in Cleveland, Ohio, with NBA star LeBron James. First of all, uh, thank you for the applause. I mean, I know you guys are excited to see her. I didn't know you guys would be excited to see me too, but uh, thank you. <laughs> now, I grew up in the inner city, and I know the whole notion of getting out and voting. And, and I was one of those kids, and I was around a community that was like, our vote doesn't matter. But it really does. It really, really does. Mrs Clinton praised LeBron James for his work on and off the basketball court, working with disadvantaged children. I can't tell you how exciting it is for me to have LeBron and JR part of the team that's going to take us to the White House starting on Tuesday. Campaigning for Hillary Clinton in Florida, the US President Barack Obama urged locals to vote. All the progress we've made goes out the window if we don't win this election. And we win this election if we win Florida. If we win Florida, it's a wrap. We win Florida, it's over. So We've got to work our hearts out this week, these next two days, as if our future depends on it. Because our future depends on it. Hillsborough County is considered a bellwether of how Florida votes. It's successfully picked every president since 1960, with just one exception. Susan McManus is a professor of political science at the University of South Florida. So the saying around here goes, as Hillsborough goes, so goes Florida, and as Florida goes, so goes the nation. At the Sun City Retirement Village, most residents were voting Trump. Have to have somebody other than Hillary, and we've got to have a change in Washington. No choice. Trump all the way. But the county is also home to a fast-growing Latino community, which has at times felt alienated by Trump. It kind of scares me. I just had a daughter and I don't want her to be living in a world where Donald Trump is a president with all the crazy things that he says and he doesn't even think before he speaks. This year, 27 million Latinos are eligible to vote. In this particular election this year, whoever gets in office, it's going to be because of the Latino uh, vote for sure. Activists like Julio Colmenares say the anti-immigrant rhetoric in this year's presidential campaign has driven them to the polling booths early in record numbers. For Checkpoint, Alex Ashton.